what I want from the budget for the real estate segment are some very simple but effective provisions which will go a long way in realizing the government's dream of affordable housing for all. Real estate investment trusts are not doing well. And to enable this important vehicle to be a success, the government needs to re-examine whether dividend distribution tax needs to continue. The minimum alternative tax, though has been rationalized, I think it needs to be rationalized further. Stamp duty, though state matter, guidance needs to be issued to states so that either no stamp duty is charged or stamp duty is charged at a nominal rate. Few years back, there used to be a section 80IB10 which addressed the housing, affordable housing. This was a very good section and I wish this is reinstated back in a bigger and a better altar. GST needs to be implemented real fast because as we all know, the incident of tax on housing is a big one and the sooner GST is implemented, it will help the real estate segment. Warehousing too will benefit in a big way once GST is implemented. On the personal income tax front, Section 80C grants a relief for repayment of the principal amount of a housing loan up to a limit of 1.5 lakhs. Very good provision, but when it is clubbed with other investments like life insurance premiums and public provident funds, it's too small. My wish is a separate limit needs to be set out for just for the repayment of principal sum of housing loan and this limit can be raised to 2 lakhs. Likewise, section 24B which grants benefits for repayment or for the payment of interest on housing loan for which the limit is 2 lakhs today, this could easy be, easily be raised to 3 lakhs. Couple of other things which are not related to the budget but very important one is the granting of industry status to the real estate segment so that priority sector lending can be extended to this industry and the passing of the real estate regulation act so that the investor confidence goes up